Curtis Bell from Ramshackle Games. I'm Matty Knuckles um, from Knuckle Bow Miniatures. Um, we're going to build some scenery. And we've got finished for a game tonight. It's probably about five. What time is it now? Three o'clock. Time stamp is 13.52 hours. Okay, let's see what time we finish. Uh, we're going to be using a bunch of foam. Uh, felt pens. Knives. Yeah. Uh, Saws. Yeah, the plan is to kind of like have a sort of. We're playing Vastarian. Which you can go out and look up. Online. Between the Vulture and me. Yes, between the Vulture and me. Um, and it's a cathedral world, so we're going to build like a ruined cathedral, I think. Parts of. Yeah. It's kind of like a bit chunky scatter terrain. Um, so let's get started. We, okay. Uh, we need some thicknesses, don't we? How thick? Do you want your bits to be? Where's the other bits? Oh, you stay there. Oh, They're right. under the table. Under the table. Mm -hmm. So we have pieces this big. Which Curtis found in somebody's house. <laughs> and stole. <laughs> so they don't have any insulation now at the eco house. Well, I reckon about this high. Right. So I'll, I'll cut across there. Why that high? Just because it's like, it will look high on the table, mm. uh, but it's not actually that high for like going Because if you okay. make it really high, it's really trying to get your finger. Ah, so this is one thing as well that Curtis decided, or I'm not sure about. At the same time, we are not painting it. It's okay. It's mean? fine, we're just being silly in the ground. I assumed you were like filming. Oh, well, you are filming. Well, we're just so speeding on. Uh, Louise job. has come in now. You've got to put the face on camera. What are you doing? We're going to make a cathedral. Hi! <laughs> <Ruined cathedral. laughs> I don't know if I was in. So I reckon about like about the yay high, yeah. and then down there, down there, down there to there. So I'm going to saw there. that. Our amateurs are doing. Oh, there we are. Right. Just Where's injury. the saw? The sawing. Oh yeah, because we're going to play with the later with this Vastarian This is thing. fun. I saw you from outside. Anyway, what's up with? Do you know about the old hammer show in Sheffield in April? I do not. Called Lead and Steel. No. church this big yeah uh, so we could do all the same things but just for that scale but you're saying have everything really big no, I was thinking of having single parts like this one where it's like you've got like curved broken bits of stuff oh all right so then I'll make some walls so you can put a okay, few in different it. places so you can move it all around okay, all right. yep. so essentially it's a big big lump of scatter terrain yep. with this several graceful big, arch several big bits of yeah that like okay. sort of thing and like broken bits and stuff and Right. Sounds good. Like so. Uh, so do you reckon pieces about this thickness? I mean, should we have like set a... If we set a thickness... So, top of my head. Curtis has finished sawing through the piece of foam, leaving a fluffy but interesting layer. So, we're going to experiment... Oh, shit. Now we're going to experiment with a heat gun to see about defluffing it. Pretty stinky. That's probably really bad for you. It's not really helping either. Hang on. There it is. It's, it's, it's defluffing it a bit. Okay. 
interesting surface is made. See, it's made really smooth there, look. That looks like water. You know, like really rough. Yeah, right. Rough water surface or something. Is it hot? No. There we go. Right. I think it's time to wrap. Well, it's working a bit. This is my original plan. This is your original plan. Kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. So Curtis, if you can't see, is holding a very long blade flat and cutting towards himself. Winding, winding up to get any of my fingers. Yeah, well they do say that's the safest way to cut. You've got more control. It's when you're going like that. So. That's working quite nicely, smoothing it off. Now, make sure that you tell your mum before you do this, because it does get really messy. I'm thinking. Or wait until she's out on the bed a bit or something, maybe. You're a natural, thank you. So what are quips? What are we going to call this show? <laughs> the show? I don't know. At home with Matt and Curtis. There might be other stars later. That's good, that's good. So what is this? This is XPS oh. 5. Is that, oh. Why don't you don't cut yourself? Yeah, don't cut towards yourself. Has that stayed really sharp? Yep. Oh, shit. You bleeding? Oh, look. there's a bit of a big hole there. Oh. Right, Just make sure. Just got a plaster on it. Curse is going to put a plaster on it. Now, what I'm going to say also is that foam can blunt a blade really quickly. So, we did have a sharpening stone the same way. So that is taken off the surface really nice and flattening this. See the shine? Getting messy, but I don't think we need to. Let's try cutting away from yourself. See if I cut away from myself, it's easier. So the plane would be better. So wear old clothes because it goes everywhere. Well, that's getting a big out of there. I do feel like my mum's going to walk in in a minute. Go, what you doing? I think my daddy didn't like me making mess. Oh, it's quite satisfying with the actual putter. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, just cut my finger a bit. Is it stopping bleeding? Yes. Good. Have you had a tetanus shot? As all good work people should have. Of course. <laughs> yeah. I used to be allowed to go gardening. I kept meaning to get a booster shot. I never did. Because you end up with like rusty nails through your hand and stuff. And wallowing around in cushion. Am I doing this like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I yeah, doing yeah. it how you imagined? Yep. Do we need to clean up as we go along? Well, it's going to be a bit of that. Yeah. Uh, so do you want to start on that one? I'll, I'll, I'll start what? What am I doing? This is the thing. Well, you said do an arch. You wanted to do an arch. Yeah. I'm going to do. I could. I'm going to do a corner. Theoretically, I think. Yeah. So if you have like an arch, you can have an inside and outside an arch. So Plus as well, like, like those flying buttresses that are like, so they have like a column with a fancy yeah, top yeah, 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 and then yeah. the arch goes like that, yeah. maybe, I don't know. Yeah, but well, I was trying to work out through some way when you cut it, you can use both halves, so you've got to curve that way, but it won't. Yeah, I'm better than that. Oh, right, okay. Well, I'm going to clean this one up. Right. Without cutting myself. Okay. Now, I'm trying to work out. What is the best use of time and space? The painting. Oh. Now, as I say, because we're not actually going to be painting these. Normally, what you'd use is an mulch polish they use, or emulsion paint I've used before, so it's a bit to toughen it up. But we're against time, so we're not. Essentially, it's grey already. Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to like. You just have to make sure you're not causing it with your fingers if you're using it. You can always paint it later, I suppose, but this is just a quick and dirty, dirty fix. So this needs to be part of a ruined cathedral, so a flying buttress. What the hell does a flying buttress look like? Uh, I have some pictures on it. Reference, reference materials are very useful. 
don't ever pretend you think you know what something looks like. Maybe that's a flying buttress. Flying buttresses. I think that might be Lincoln or Notre Dame. Notre Lincoln. I don't know, I don't know where it is. It's probably Lincoln or Notre Dame. No, it's not Notre Dame. So that's more sort of like just sort of spires, isn't it, really? So you probably want more spire-like things, and then attach uh, curves to it. So it's going to make... See, that's spin, so that should probably be the curves, I think. This one's going to have authentic blood on it as well. Yeah. You want to use this one? I've just said. No, 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 I'm talking about teamwork. But that's thick, so you want to have like a thick pillar type thing, or you think of it as cutting out of one piece. I'm going to turn one of these two into a corner. Okay. Right, so uh, choose which one you prefer, and I'll do the other one as a corner. A nice thick cathedral wall is absolutely fine. They, they built them proper thick, didn't they? They did, yeah. But when you see the insides of them, actually, it's just all rubble, isn't it? It's yeah. just the outsides, the actual. Yeah. I might be wrong. Hardcore. They put the hardcore. Hardcore. Just making sure this is running or not actually, that is just a good way of telling in any way. Well, it says 6 minutes and 54, so let's go. This one's for me, isn't it? If that's the one you want, <laughs> do you want <laughs> to one? No, I don't know what I'm doing, Kurt. I don't know what. It's like one of the things, you get that thing where it's like, right, draw, if you've ever shape, worked with expensive things. Draw a shape on it. Yeah. There's a pencil. Um, Draw, a pen, draw it with a pen, draw it with a pencil. I'm just trying to think and envis envisage what I'm looking at here on the table. Right, you're going to get a pencil. You just get, you do the first bit though. <laughs> As they say, the first cut is the deepest, but you've already done that to yourself. So, I'm just trying to think the most economic use of the yeah. material. Right. So this side this is basically right. level, and this side is not. So I'm going to use this side. Right, I'll just do what I thought I was doing. So he's talking about buttresses, I'm talking about curves. Yeah, go with your own intuition, my man. Do what you think. Drawing, Let's see if that's a. Well, are we talking Gothic or Norman arches? Uh, gothic? Uh, yeah, I suppose Gothic's more. So that's what I thought of this Bistarian thing, so you could have. Uh, people that just do because it's kind of like pseudo-religious but not really religious uh, you could have people that actually fight over what are they like gothic or norman arches your arches are too pointy but that's a bit gothic -y. but it's not gothic because they have more round bits don't they well they have as much foldy roll and fiddly d as you fancy Foldy roll fiddly do. Yeah, I think that's the technical term. Oh so, yeah, so pipe. Buttress, buttress, pipe. So I think I need to say. Where did you say that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about your buttress. So. What we need is better than foam cutters. What, a hot wire one? Yeah. I don't know. No, I don't know if this is going to rub up right in my head. I need it to look elegant. And, uh, Almost Lord of the Rings Elderly. It's like all those letters. Now don't cut yourself again. I won't. Right. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm starting to see it in my mind's eye. Ah. Yeah. Right, did we have another knife? Yeah, I've got a pack of them. I've got a pack of them. I don't know. Oh, the pack of them I was drawing on the back of. <laughs> Wait a minute. Right, now, Curtis did buy a pack of these extending fellas. Better if you got ones that lock. They do, they do. That's what I'm saying. Better if the ones that lock. And then lock. Good old pound man. Yeah. Not very oily, pretty much sharp. Warning, sharp blade. They are definitely sharp. Yeah, we've proved that by. Now, foam, we've said before, once 
knives really fast. So, if you've got a sharpening stone like Curtis here has got, you can give them a bit of sharpening in between cuts if you really want it. Now, blade extended, in, slice. Now, I can't see what I've sliced before. Yeah, I'm like, I, I like drew mine out with a knife, and now I'm just stabbing it and going You're more of a sawer, aren't you? I'm sort of like several passes. Gently cutting towards myself again, but being careful at the end of the cut. Now, one of the things I always found, because I used to cut up a lot of foam doing other things, was if you think you're going to cut yourself, you will. So if you don't have to think, no, I'm not going to cut myself, or you stop. Ooh. It is not like in. I'm not, not looking. Like at, I'm not looking at what. Two different techniques here. So which one's the best? Well, the one, well, the, the ultimate ar ar arbitrary which technique is better mm. is who, who gets it finished on time. Yeah, but usually with more digits. See, look at that, that's going through. What are you doing? Oh, just texturing it a bit. Oh, is that it? You're going to start chewing it. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, I haven't tried chewing the phone actually. Let me try chewing foam. Right. I used to chew my bag. Now I'm being careful not to cut through to the table because I don't know if we want to keep this table. There you go, man. You can probably see the other side when it's coming through now. Uh, some people used to use um, electric carving knives. Yeah. Just even just a carving knife is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Was it all wheater? Oh, yeah, I've already cut through that. Why is it not? Oh, there we go. Over. Is it wheater or wetter? Did you say wheater or wetter? Wetter. 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 Is that when they're north of that water? Wetter. But. And the. Oh, yeah. See, that's getting really blunt now. Oh, oh my god. It was, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, because they did the Pikachu's and that was all foam, wasn't it? You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm not even going to make a corner, I'm just going to have two pieces, because that's freestanding. Can I? Yeah, well, that's pretty good. You could do a nice window in here, couldn't you? That's why I cut it that shape. You did? Yeah. Clever. I know. It's oh, almost yeah, like yeah. I thought about it. You could just go, like, we could just go really kind of like avant garde. Just have shapes. <laughs> but then even like this, it just looks like cast concrete. Yeah, yeah. It's been ruined. What do they have in science fiction? Sticks and bits of wire poking out and dropped it. Oh, so it's like. Uh, well, what was it in 4K? It's pla Plasprey. No, in fact, Dune is Plasprey. Yeah, is it? Because, of course, Dune and 40K have no relationship whatsoever. Yeah. Bloodlines. Or is it in 2018, Josh Dredd as well? So. The Land Road, yeah. Josh Dredd. Yeah. That was good. I'm pretty happy with that. I think I had one of those with elastic band wheels. You're quite happy with that? Yeah. I'm quite cool. Okay, let's go up to me. Okay. Let's get back to the app. Make sure it's not stopped. Still going. Yeah. There we go. So. Henry Rollins called Coffee the Black. Oh. Henry Rollins called Coffee the Black Blood of Creativity. So why'd you put milk in it then? Well, he doesn't drink it. He's he's done. I don't. I think he's vegan. So he's straight edge, is he? Yeah. One of those straight edges. See, I'm almost straight edge now. So. Still like my coffee though. But not that awful stuff you put in the microwave. What? This is quality. What? What? You just in? Yeah, but then you put it in the microwave. So it just burns it. Nah, you just heat it up. Though. See now, this knife is starting to get blunt. So what it's doing is it's just chunk. Pulling chunks out instead of cutting. Right now, for the next hour, I'm going to be drawing details. So, do you want to explain what you're going to do with that? With your... I've got a biro here. I'm going to get the felt pens out in a minute, and I'm just going to draw all the, the stones and cracks and everything onto it. So then it cuts into it, so it's 3D, but also like uh, puts colour on it. So, we're still doing that? Well, maybe then we can put a wash on. Well, I mean, you said you were going to do a wash. 
So I reckon we should do like different. Because things like uh, cathedrals and stuff, they'll be like they'll be like dirty from the bottom down. Where well, I don't know, like the water is missing, yeah, 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 yeah. stuff yeah. drops off the top. Mm. Uh, so I reckon a bunch of different weathering stuff. Okay. Right. Like some wash, but then let's not do the wash all the way over. Now here's me. Oh, you've been kicked out. <laughs> no, we did a bit of filming there. You're live on Tinternet. Oh, am I? No, 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 you're not live. Oh, right, I won't show me that. <laughs> anything that you say is being recorded. So okay. training and, uh... Now, I believe OJ Simpson was innocent. Was it? Let's have a go to uh, a caryatid. A what? A caryatid. Is that T end? No, no, it's one of, it's one of the... Uh, it's those are those little things that live in the pipes in Necromander, aren't they? Well, they're the... Carrion swarms. They're babies. Babies. Sculpted onto... Gothic Emperor's babies. Onto Gothic architecture. Right. Oh, oh then. Caryatids. Like the oh, gargoyle yeah. tree, or whatever they're called. The so I didn't know that was a thing. Ch they're usually cherubim or cerebin. Cherubim, cherubim. Or people playing trumpets. Up. Language, Timothy. It's a from watching. I'm gonna have to edit that. Oh, sorry, it's Tony Hart. Believe me. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't realise it was BBC. <laughs> oh, there we go. You scared yourself there. What do you think that looks like? That looks like a bit wrong, doesn't it? Why has it gone thin at the bottom? Should uh, be thicker. Yeah, I, just, I just think it needs to. I can add a bit. No, no, no. No, I think this just is too. This this bit. I, I think like it's the art should come so as it's like oh, about, about, down about down thickness, down. like goes straight up and then the art. Mm, I'm not gonna chop away at it. Then not gonna think so. There's other bits there. Look, there we go. So what can you stick that back together to make that into a almost something going on. No copyright material allowed. In the videos? Yeah. Ooh, really? Watch what you're singing. Oh, watch just in case somebody recognises the song. No, the AI will recognise it. Whatever. And then it will just automatically get flagged and taken down. Yeah. Wow. So See, I didn't know about that. that. There was someone that uh, got flagged for playing a game and the, the sounds of them pressing buttons is like the start of a techno song or similar to and it got flagged and demonetized. Wow. Because the AI system was like, that's clearly a song. Wow. And they were like, I only just started playing the game. <laughs> that's insane. They probably recognise my head and boom or something as well. We put our heads too close to each other. Right, let's have a look at some of the fiddle foldy roll on the, these things. Oh, it's a lot of straight lines, isn't it? It's a lot of straight lines. Yeah. On the architecture. There's blobs. Blah, 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 blobs. So that's one of the things I wondered about soaring in with, the, with this. If you can kind of... Have you got any rounded files? You've got rounded files? I have got a big jar of files, yeah. But, but I mean quite like the size of that, rounded. A couple. Ooh. Well, I need one. Uh, right, okay, what do we do with our rumors? I'm go successfully through. making things smaller. And a file. Just trying to make a phone not look like a phone. Worried about them. 
Yeah, but through the phone, you might be able to do some, if you fancy doing something really complicated. Oh. Oh, so, no, see, I got to that point there where I thought, I ain't going to cut myself. So I stopped. Oh, that's nice, you can draw, I can't. The little chair up there. Blow the little tutor. Now, I've just pressed record again. We're back, we're back again. You're back. Technical difficulties. Yeah. Well, I have stuck this on here by jamming two cocktail sticks. Well, you didn't tell me you're doing that. It's I know you don't have to tell me everything. You have to do tech. You have to do tech. Uh, also, right. I found a good technique is jam in your Pens. the back Pens. of your pen, you can like press into it, mm. which I was quite having fun with. Because I did bring some dowel flat pipers, pointless, so you can stick it in and make shapes, but Curtis being the arty party dark guy that he is, is doing a lot better than just the end of a pen. Well, like, like you, you, brought one, you brought one that had a cool texture, yeah, yeah. and I was like... You're just getting carried away there and doing loads of stuff that's interesting. I'm getting a bit scared. You know, ahead of me. Oh, get on with it. That was it. You brought a file. File. Let's give that a go. Yeah, file's good. To make a right mess here. That's going to make kind of like a bite marks, chewed thing. So how's that going to make a shape? Right. See. So if I go there, I can do it. It's on a ridge. Yeah, it's like a stone on top of another stone with a bit but, of dressing. Uh, yeah, so like where they cut the edges off and stuff in it. I don't know, so I was trying to do that thing you've got in cathedrals, you've got those blobs. So if you're going really deep. Ter terrible amounts of experimentation here. Let's say you get really like a, almost like a sword tooth mark or something there. So that's working. Let's do one next to it. I'm just, I think, what's looking good as well is instead of going for all the like really fiddly stuff, let's make it out of giant stones, like, so it's like made out of giant this stones. being a normal sized stone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Because when we're cutting this, if you cut it with a knife and then it, the way it chips, it looks like dressed stone yeah, or broken yeah. stone. Yeah, yeah. I've seen well, people using well, chisels then, before. Then what we can do is we can rough it all in, and then if we get time at the end, do more like details. Yeah. Like where I did that cherry, that took quite a bit of time, so yeah. if I do it all like that, it's going to look great, but yeah, well, my arches. Is that yours? It's, it's nobody's. Nobody's, that's my off cut, isn't it? Like, from there. So, good one. Oh, 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 oh. I got struck by inspiration. The inspiration there. Inspiration. Broken building parts. Right, so that could go there. Is that one overlap? I think. That goes to there to there, so it's got a nice interesting curve. That bit's not flat, so that could do a bit flat there. So, either saw or just lock it. Be safe. Going. Back. Yeah, we're back into it. I think your head's in there, so I might, I might top of my hair might just be out of the shot most of the time. Unless I scrunch. So, what well, we're talking about pixies. <coughs> yeah, we were, weren't we? Bodrigis. Bodrigis. That's a place, isn't it? Bodrigi. <laughs> There's lots of places called Bodrigi. Bodrigi Road. Trevivix. Yeah. Ah, Trevivix. Trevivic. Who was uh, Trevivic? He was the guy who... Uh, Did he do trains? No, he was an evil landlord. Was he an evil landlord? Oh, I don't know. No, I'm thinking... Can I call that out? Because Trevithic, the Trevithic engine is the first wheeled uh, uh, car, basically. It was a steam engine that pulled loads from South Crofty Mine. Up really to intense bricks there. I didn't know we were doing that intense. Well, I'm, you do what okay. you want, mate. Okay, I'm always I'm not looking at somebody judge. else's. You are. I'm not. You are. I, I measure myself by you. Anyway, Trevivic and his. Tri the Trevivic train. engine. Well, it was a, it was a, it was a road vehicle. 
Oh, right, okay, yeah. Because they had problems getting the, uh, the trains up the steep incline of uh, the hill that goes from South Crofty. South Crofty Mine, the most profitable mine ever in Team. the world. Yeah. Because I think it was operating from like well, Roman a long time times. Ago, exactly. Well, that's my theory is that the Romans invaded Britain for tin. Because tin is only available in very small amounts of space in places in Europe. Slash the world. Well, they used to call Cornwall the place where tin comes from. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you needed tin to make, uh, what is it? Bronze? Yeah, yeah. Bronze, is it bronze? Yeah. Um, so you can't make it that. And they didn't really explore a lot of the stuff that happened down there. Anyway, not much to do with pixies or why war games come from Cornwall. They don't stay there though, but they go back. I think there's a few of the famous names have gone back and live in Cornwall. Which I can't name for reasons. I'm also not remembering what their names are. <laughs> no, that's all there is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, I was telling a story about that something, though, wasn't I? Trevivic and his boring road No, 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 it was before the camera stopped. What were we talking about? Rodriguez. Yeah, but then... You're not talking about that connection at all. We were talking about 40k and the animals, uh, the orcs, going off and oh, just... Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know what the orcs have got to do with Cornwall. Oh, probably nothing. Nothing. You never know, it could come from Cornwall. Cornish orcs. I won't try and do a Cornish accent because that might be seen as being wrong. Proper dog me booty, isn't it? Proper jab. Proper jab. Because we also remember how to do it. Oh my god, I don't really like that bit. I've done a bit over here where I tried pressing into the thing, but it's not worked. I'm going to check that still recording. Is it working? It is, I can see you. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, well, I suppose I'll put that bit up there already made. Brought that bit as well. Ah, you call printouts. The call printout bit, I put that at the front just so I'm too embarrassed everybody to know. Put it there. <coughs> yeah, I'll print out a load more of those, they're all a bit sticky, so I was thinking of building some more things. I do like that, that's like, yeah, good. I'm just horribly embarrassed when it's done. Just want to get you to finish this off and make it look nice. Honestly, stop being so down on yourself. Nobody wants it. to watch somebody being down on themselves. No, I just watch me being down on myself. Bigger you like, you are. Were you really good at doing all your work, mate? Yeah, well, I'm not like, this, though. Looking flipping good. Oh, and the edges are smashing it up in a tears. Uh, yeah, yeah, in a, in, a, in a peaked fit of rage. Uh, that uh, curve doesn't work so much, it doesn't look like it's grounded to the floor where it needed to glue more things onto it. I don't know. Look, alright. I'm happy to take it over and just draw loads of stuff on you. You have a go at that? I'm interviewing you. It's just like. I don't know, I miss it. Well, yeah, well, anyway. You know, get your confidence back. The oh, I'll cut the blood stains off this one as well. Uh, I don't mind a bit of blood on there. It's not deep. So you're just going to cut yourself again? Yeah. Once a day is enough for me, thank you. So, okay. we're looking at timing. It's ten past three. Yeah. We're talking about gaming at six. Yep. Uh, drying time, we're going to be painting it for an hour. Oh, yeah, it's probably going to be less than that, like, you're going to hair dryer it. Like, as well, like I was saying, don't do a wash all over it. We'll just do spot washes and shading and stuff. Yeah? Yeah, I think like... Oh, no, no, do that wash all over. It takes like five minutes. Look at that, that's lovely. Oh, it's kind of all rusted. That took seconds to put on. Yeah, okay, sure. But? But I don't like it. Why don't you like it? Because what, like what I like is variation. We can be honest with each other now. What I like is variation. I do like a lot of that, but what I imagine is that's the whole bottom third of all of them. Oh, well, that is just a little piece of it. Look, you've got your brown and your black in it, so you've got... Yeah, okay, and like, I would really love to see that up to about here, with these really long uh... washer brushes. And then the top dry brush down white. Oh, so you are putting paint on there. 
Well, I was thinking a bit of dry brush because it's grey, mm. which is that mid tone. How about and yellow over light tone? I think Off don't white. right. I think there's a lot of like a chance of that going wrong. Okay. Whereas just some cheap white, it would look good. No so you're the, you're the one, you know. And then this, let's do like, let's do it like the rising damp has gone up. And yeah, yeah, and where covered. water splashes up. And then we have like the grey and then the white section. So like a third bright, mm. a third dull, and with this strip around the See, middle. See, I think that's for my scene. I always do it too, too much all the same, all right. the way across over. I need mean, to put some more colour in there. So are you down yeah. with that idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, See, cool. this isn't me saying, I don't know how to do it, I'm not going to do it. Can you do it? I'm just learning from you. So... But I like, I like that brown, and I don't want to upset you by saying we can't have the whole cathedral brown. No, it's just don't part look brown. Yeah, exactly. Brown. This is the thing. It's like, we know each other well enough to say, no, that's going to look like shit. Let's change it. Or it's not we even could like be it better. Look, it would, yeah, it's not even like it looked bad. It's just, it's, I, better, it's not my yeah. vision. I'm like a violinist, you know, aren't I? Fiddle, da, 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 da. fiddle, fiddle me this. That's working quite well. Yeah, it's nice, that. Yeah. That's nice. See, I'm watching you. No, you're not. No, you're watching. We're coming together. I'm trying to look at where how you've done the thing. You've done the more stuff at the top, so you can kind of have a bit that's broken off there. Well, usually as well. Stop moving. I'm trying to see this bit here. That's quite good. I did it with um, the ruler as well. Well, oh, okay. So you can do a whole bunch of straight lines. So it goes across the thing. Like I did all my brickwork with a ruler as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, that could be used in other things as well. Yeah. Other game TMs. And then you can see nothing really lines up. I think what I might do is where it doesn't line up, put a little thing in so it looks like it's been built at a different period, like added on. Because mm. cathedrals quite often they'll do that. They make them up as they go along. And then what I was going for in here is that they have like two layers of dressed stone and then you're hardcore in the middle. Yeah, like yep, that's it. I was just jabbing it and poking so it's it with the, apart. with the actual pen end like I that. I see what you're saying. See? see, there we go. So I'm doing, as par advice, by the curves, it's lines, lines. Yeah. Then you do another set of lines up there. Yeah. And, and then I was like drawing in the shapes and then pushing them in with the pen because when you draw them in it breaks the surface so when you press it so it makes a kind of line yeah okay. it's very very rough but yeah. it looks like it's been attacked by acid rain and you know, for in, thousand years in the, the grim dark future there is only acid rain yeah they discussed that didn't they I think somewhere where grim dark is it where it came from where did it come from I don't know, something good. I think it's pre 40k if I remember correctly. There's a, a movement of foot. I might be talking to the big to remember it. Because I, mean, I thought that. it was directly from that classic quote. Yeah, it was on the front, yeah. But I mean, they didn't. the term grim dark didn't come from 40k. Well, they didn't, they didn't go grim and dark. It was There was grim dark writing before then. Ah, okay. So it's not their term, which is obviously that's why they ain't TM'd it. Ah. Um, uh, but, I don't know if my lines aren't as good as your lines. Uh, yeah, well, don't press in too hard. Yeah, it's more like that. Like probably half of what you're doing. Don't yeah, you? I can't, I'm picking too much instead of doing that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then like the direction that you hold your pen in kind of like makes different marks. Yeah. So it's laying it down along the surface more. Yeah, so rather than kind of ripping it. And it, it will occasionally rip and get these really nasty lines. But yeah, yeah. That's all over it, so it's just the chipping on the bullet holes and damage from yeah. acid rain. Acid rain. Acid yeah. rain. Which is very 80s. I remember everybody was worried about acid rain in the 80s. What have you done with your little pictures there? You got your... So how would I do those there? So I'd go. Like that. Oh no! Well, show me. Show draw me, show the me. draw the shape in. Right. Well, I was doing like these little gothic arches. Yeah. And then you can be quite like break. And then push. With break it. the uh, surface. And then put it down yeah. flat. Yeah. Yeah. And then go like that. I see. That works. So I'm playing the TV presenter who just doesn't know what he's doing. So I do obviously know what I'm doing, and I'm getting Curtis to explain it. So it works that way. So what we're doing is drawing a little sketchy, sketch, 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 arch first. Oh, see, I'm too rough there now. Lighter. Oh, do the outline. 
and then push it in. So it seems biro seems to be the tool of choice on this, doesn't it? Yeah, I was thinking we might do felt pens, but it seems like. It. Did you have a go with felt pens? You might like. I haven't more. tried a felt pen. I did bring a kind of like a super duper marker as well. But well, these because they're thin and also they're cheap, so it doesn't matter. If you mess them up. Damaged. Yeah, they're, yeah. Look, we've got a black, a dark grey, and a dark brown. So there's the dark grey. It's going to be bothered with things. The surface. See, this surface, is that the one you saw as well? Is that no, uh, that, was how it that came. was how I got it, yeah. Yeah, so that's a bit fluffy, that surface, isn't it? That's just have a go with you. No, I'm just looking, I'm just for the viewers at home. It marks up all right, though, look. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It just looks like sandstone. Concrete or something, yeah. Plascrete. Is that meant to be like plastic, crete? Concrete. Plascrete, yeah, I reckon. I think my biro is rubbish. I mean, I think you've got better biro than me. You know they are identical biros. No, this one's set. far better, this one. Oh yeah, I can see why you're doing better than me now. There you go. So, it was, yeah, I was looking at the style and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's been going for a long while. Has it? Well, I don't know if it is Vestalian specifically, because I saw those pictures of them playing. I don't know if some of them came over and they played at um, Warhammer World with uh, Mr. Blanche over there. Yeah. That was back in was that was back in the sixteen, like pre pre the um, uh, COVID apocalypse. Yeah. Okay. But then that's. The way I understand it is that they, might not have been the they have their own little well. settings. Everybody has yeah. a little setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that one had a name as well, and I forget what it was. Uh, oh yeah, it did have a different one. But then there's like there's been the what was it um, the Ian McCoy? Ian McCoy is it the artist? Martin. Martin McCoy. Yeah. yeah. Awesome illustrations Amazing of the red stuff. the red jaw. Yeah, that was later on. And yeah. then um, yeah. hundreds. Cordell, Cordell, um, he did his, he's written a setting that's like a Hive Secundus. I don't um, know that person. Okay. I probably do by sight if you show me the thing. Um, do they have a tag? Cordell, K-O-R-D-H-A-H-A-F, Cordell. Uh, he came here, I'm doing that sort of, one of the, he's giving me a model to cast out. Okay. Where's that? Looks brilliant. It's totally so brilliant. Shorts. Are you just saying it? No, I'm not. Yeah, you're just saying it. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, he's just saying it. I know you are. It's not real. Um, so they all, all like did these settings. And because they've spent a little time thinking about setting, doing some illustrations, doing some like models, and then going, this is my thing that I invented. And mm. then just openly inviting everybody else to join yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Wire Brothers recently did this one, Bastard, and that's what it is. It's like, hey, come and play this cool set. Well, come and use it as a way to spark your imagination. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it sparked my imagination. So I wrote, like, and you know, they want to be able to play different games with it. So a conversion for Necromunda, a conversion yeah, for yeah. Forbidden Sun. And, you know, I like Try a different rule. I did my minigame time, which is what we're doing this. So that's the thing a, a, lot of people, a lot of people don't realise for viewers at home. It's like, I think when I started off back into wargaming, it was within the traditional wargaming world of historical stuff. But a lot of people use, like even if you're doing Second World War, which is the traditional big one, isn't it? Uh, apart from Napoleonics. They'll use different rule systems depending on the game they're playing. Obviously, like different scales of amount of troops you've got, or whatever. But it depends what sort of flavour you want. Whether you want a sillier game, a more kind of realistic game. So this, this trouble is, is like sometimes with us, is like, but this is where it's breaking the model. Is that you can go, oh, will I use one page rules? Will I use mini games? Will I use the old Necromunda rules? Will I use whatever? Uh, or a uh, bastardisation, if you can say that word without being rude. Yeah. Uh, of like, the Forbidden Silence. Um but it depends on what sort of flavour game. Just try different rules. Don't have to stick yep. the same. Yep. So. Yeah, and I like you can make warbands and use them in lots of different game. Yeah, yeah. Different games. 
And solo gaming's big as well, so sometimes there's solo gaming rules. And so by starring, it's just a, a setting, a fun setting yeah, yeah. that we can all like do our own little thing and inject into. It. Make up your own little pulse of strangeness. Yeah, yeah. I was no, I've forgotten all of my Latin. So 40,000 years in the future, it's all Latin, isn't it? Isn't it? Is well, weird. no, no, it's not. It's Latin is the is what they render it into in English to give it that alien feel. But actually, it's like a conglomeration of the current languages, isn't it? Is the idea there. Right, so is there more than one language in 40k? Yeah, there's High Gothic. And low oh, Gothic. is there? Oh, I don't know. High Gothic is the Latin, mm. and Low Gothic is English. Oh. Okay. So when somebody's speaking English, they're not really speaking English, they're speaking high... High Gothic. No, Low Gothic. Low Gothic, and that's what all the sort of plebs... Yeah, well, it's the common, it's like common, you know, in D&D or whatever. I don't know, well, you used to get like in sort of like, uh, uh, medieval England, so medieval England, um, they had uh, Norman French for the... Uh, the bosses. Nobles all spoke no normal French to the point that some kings couldn't speak English. And then common gutter English for the rest of your plebs and stuff, didn't you? Well, that's why we have French words for meat, mm. for English, for um, dang, like Norse words for the animal. Like a pig. We don't eat pig meat, we eat pork meat. It's a French word. Beef is a French word. Mm. Cow is the English word. The, because the Lipid. the nobles aren't cooking the meat, they say I want to eat some pig, I want to eat some beef, some mm. cow. So um, how did you do your um, uh, rubble? See, I printed that off for you. See, it's lovely. It's not that great, my print, but it's, it's not in colour. Yeah, yeah, cool. I don't know if I do it as an A5 or an A6. A5. 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 It'd be nice as a little A5 booklet, I think. So relay it out. Again. How did I do the rubble? Let me just, just check this is recording still, because I always get paranoid it's not recording. Because it's, it's gold we're making here, you know, Curtis. Gold. Yeah, I can see the top of your head. Do we need to put some googly eyes on top of it? One of my sons decided to dye my, the top of my head blue yesterday. Rubbing a like a. It doesn't look blue. He got a mirror, yeah, drew on it with a blue felt pen. And then he rubbed the mirror on my head. They're lovely, aren't they? Patch. Children are lovely. It's a good way it was finding your house. Anything. Yeah. So, rubble. How did you do your rubble? How did I do the rubble? Right. So I drew my stones in. Okay, yeah. Where, wherever you want to do that. Right, yeah. And then I just kind of like... So I drew little bits in. Yeah. And then just started pulling them out. Okay, 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 gotcha. You, like, okay, would it be an idea if I cut some of these stones out of the thing so it's like the outside's fallen off or something? Yeah, 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 like that. Yeah, like, there you go, yeah. you've done it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut them at different heights and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yours. Then, uh, can I, have a I also. I don't know, I don't know. So you've got kind of like bigger ones at the bottom. I just, I've just here. got different shapes all over it, different bits. Yeah, they don't even line up. Inspiration, man. Look at those two windows, like totally wrong. Ah, well. You haven't really noticed. No, it's caricature, isn't it's it? It's a speed build, is what it is. That's always the one of the things with, um, I suppose, with scenery. Is like all miniatures basically are characters, character caricatures. That's it. Well, they're not all of them. You've got some people who do them that they look very realistic uh, proportions, and then they look wrong. But then with our buildings. We try to look, make them look. Not so much in the stuff we're doing these days. You know, like more time and this sort of thing. But a lot of people have buildings that look exactly like the doors are perfect and the windows are perfectly aligned. It's like, like you said, making those so they look a bit. Yeah. One of your favourite words, janky. Janky, dang. You've got to embrace the jank. Yeah, that's it. But it is having those proportions that have gone off in different ways. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with that. But it's also, yeah, having buildings that aren't actually the size that they would be in real life. So I was reading the more time um, Facebook group, somebody posted up earlier about using Lord of the Rings models and using uh, the ones from Cursed City. Is it Cursed City? City of the Dam? Something like that. The ones yeah, yeah, they're typically bigger like, though, don't they? Yeah, it was like 
vampires and witch hunters, wasn't it? Right, yeah. And yeah, like they're two different scales. They're more of like way off having to 32 mil the, But when the you're playing more cursing. time, like when we play more time, everybody shows up to the table with miniatures they've made, miniatures from different manufacturers. Yeah, yeah. And like Scales, the units don't proportions. Yeah, the warbands don't scale. But number one, when you start, you're already you're four feet apart anyway, so you can't gauge the scale properly. Yeah. And then number two, by the time you've got your guys in face to face contact, you really you've moved past the aesthetics and you're just into kind of like the structure of uh, I need to roll a whatever four to hit, I'll put three attacks, whatever it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so you're really using the models as gaming tokens. Well that's all they are really, isn't it? Yeah. Sure, exactly. So recognising that they're gaming tokens doesn't detract from either the fun of the game, the immersion of it really. Because true, true, I would true. rather see a really cool project that somebody's done than have it the same scale as my models. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. That's a good point, actually, because yeah. I'm one of those things, I feel a little bit guilty in our own group, and I'll be honest here. I don't like playing up against people that haven't painted their models. Uh, Curtis is a lovely person who loves everybody and say, no, it's fine, no, it doesn't matter. For me, it's just like, I just, just, it makes me just... <laughs> feel like not playing. Piss blood, I think, is that sort of thing. It's just that bad. I don't feel like I'm not playing. I just like, oh, dude, come on, just do something. just to throw a couple of colours on it. You know what I mean? Undercoat it, chuck a little bit of shade on. I don't know, something. Like, I don't understand, really I don't understand why people don't aren't, don't want to spend all their time doing that sort of thing. That anyway. So, is it because of like a thing where it's like I've devoted X amount of time, so I maybe expect my in-game lover to devote the same <laughs> amount of time. In-game partner. Partner. That's a better term, isn't it? Yeah. Um, to devote as much time to my pleasure as well yeah. uh, and I feel a little bit like hard done by um, I don't know what's going on there but no, no there's a good point about scales I don't mind about that or proportions it's not really scales because miniatures can be the same height but the proportions are different like a peri miniatures tend towards nowadays a bit more of a spelt body shape whereas you've got some of the more traditional uh, GW ones are more like a big chunky fellas, which I kind of like because sometimes when we're playing, your miniatures are kind of like a lot more small. I don't know, they're more 25, 28, we almost got. Oh, 30, yeah, I do mine all, all 28 yeah. to, to the top of the head. Top of the head, see, I do eyeball. Yeah. That's what you're meant to measure. Don't give me this top of the head business. Why would you measure to their eyeballs? Because the the, that's where their eye line is, because the top of the head could be a hat. Yeah, but They've that's not the top. Heads. No, that's not the top of their hand. Yeah, this head. is one of the things. It's not. It is the bottom of the foot to the eyeball. Well, it actually, <laughs> what it is is all of those. Things. It could be both, I suppose. But it, no, I was it, taught. It, yeah. I learned this when I was growing up. Yeah, but it, it's all it those eyeball. things together, though, and all those things separate. Like I've had arguments with people who were going, like saying that scale is only can only be expressed as a proportion. Which is out of twaddle, because obviously you can express scale yeah. as like 28 millimetres is equal to two metres, or whatever. Yeah, you can have six foot. Yeah, yeah it's, it's scale, yeah, and then proportions, isn't it? Proportionality, I would say, yeah? Yeah. So. Okay, well, are we really talking about scale? And what we should be talking about is what is this video called? Oh, any ideas, anybody? Nottingham Gamers. No, uh, 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 not that one. No, Nottingham Independent. No, 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 no. no. We're, 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 indie, we're all indie gamers. We're all indie. A lot of us are indie producers. Nottingham Indie Producers. Oh, right, well, this is almost the punk thing, isn't it? What was, what was the punk one that was. Not that I was a punk. Well, I suppose it was a punk when I was younger. I don't know. Maybe I was so punk well, I refused to be a punk. Indie punk. Indie punk. No, I always liked the cartel thing as well. What did it was Troika, that was a word I found this morning as well, Troika, but I think there's a role playing game called that. Yeah, isn't, isn't that a Russian word? It's, I think it's Eastern European, but it means a group of, of people doing a thing or something. Oh, okay. um, but then we should have our own words for it instead of like nicking other people's. Um, or there was, what was a program I was watching the other day that was Dada, which was just, they just went for a book and went, now that word will do. It was a sort of like English. The Dardarist movement. Yeah, but it was, there was a translation book where they just went, that'll do Dada. So it's like a meaningless thing. Yeah, the Dada movement, yeah. Yeah. Being more arty. 
because that's what yeah, we but are. Is like a, art doesn't but, exist. But it is quite a lot of like the Dada movement is this idea as well of like punk stuff, where it's kind of like taking trash or taking trash ideas or taking ideas that are absurd and putting it into your art. But it was almost that was more like a protest thing as well, wasn't it? Mm. Because it, what was, didn't they form when there was like the First World War was on? So uh, they decided to sort of like instead of making art, it was to make a. I might have just completely made all this up, and what I thought was a version of it was instead of producing art, they just produced ridiculous art where it was just like a toilet uh, taking the Mickey out of the establishment. So yeah, it was like a lot of punk aesthetic, isn't it? And that's well, if you look at some of the original they, this program, which was one which had. Uh, not Bob Mortimer, Jim Reeves, no, Jim Reeves, what's his name? Vic Reeves and Bick Bob Reeves. Mortimer. But it's Vic Reeves, he's not his real name, but he's, he did a TV programme, which I can't remember what side it was on, but it was about the Dada movement. Um, some of their TV, early TV shows were very like Dada as well, absurdist yeah. stuff. But, um, yeah, and then they had like the early publications where they produced magazines and stuff and things. They looked like the very early punk magazines, which then goes across to Mortboard style rules, which then goes to the Forbidden Sun type rules, which then goes to the Popular Now type rules, where it's like different fonts and loud colours and just playing around with it. And which then goes to the model making, where there's guys like Delon and stuff and things, and Trent taking toys, literally just toys they find in the street and turning them into miniatures that they use, which is completely anti-establishment where it's like I won't play by your rules literally in the game yeah yeah uh, sorry you can't come and play in this store because you haven't got models that you bought in this store yeah it's yeah like, uh, so. now I'm going to go off and find my own group of people who want to play games with toys yeah 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 with that thing that they, so yeah. what can we call the uh, group oh oh exactly still back to the same old problem man I don't know because who's in that group? All right, so there's no you, one. me, <laughs> just start Pablo saying the Steel Tower. Um, Does he want to be? Does he said that? Am yeah. I doing this right here? This. Yeah. Yeah, I was like drawing them as well. Oh. So then that breaks. Oh. So, so drawing bl like bits of rubble, and then when you pluck them out, they sort of like. Oh, yeah, this is where I keep going wrong, isn't it? Okay. Uh, in the group. Yeah, uh, Gabe. Then other people that we that come and game with us semi regularly is uh, Sprue Goblin. So you uh, don't necessarily have to be somebody who makes. You can bad, no, bad, yeah, bad Squiddo. Um, Warp miniatures. Uh, who else do we have to actually come in and hang with us? Bad Squiddo hasn't. Yes, yeah. not playing game with me. Well, I just can't kind of game actually game a game with us in this building. Right. We've done events and stuff. Uh, I don't like that. Game. Halcyon miniatures. Like... Yep, yep, yep. Um, and like I don't know, I don't think most of those guys are going to want to come and do like a video with us. Everything. But <laughs> we'll, I'll definitely be able to flag them to come in and. Oh, you meant for like uh, just yeah. like actually do the video thing, but not actually like the. Oh, a video. Like, also, you and me want to organise a part of the cartel. Uh, like a gaming event day oh. thing. A revolution there. Uh, so the name needs to be able to reflect people who like are seriously into the business, or are oh, I'm other artists that we're friends with. Or a really cool people who are just doing the hobby side yeah, yeah. want to come in and game with us. Yeah. Uh, so the name needs to be able to include all of that, but also be like, you know, me, you. I don't know, I guess Pablo. Guess Pablo, I guess. Well, because we can bully him into helping us. Because <laughs> he doesn't understand what we're saying after that. He just nods. Like, yeah, no, yeah. no, but he likes doing all the things that we like. No, he does obviously understand. Sticking stuff saying. together and making things. Sticking, making things. Yeah. He's very good at uh, uh, making things. There's probably other people that have forgotten him. Uh, maybe for you, uh, not for me. Everybody, you know. Uh, well. Everybody gets on perfectly well with me. I've never opened my big mouth and it's <laughs> people off. Sorry, annoy people. When have I ever done that? <laughs> 
me. And this, this then comes on to the reasons of being self-employed as a creative, isn't it? It's like, yeah. I've never held down a job more than two years. Well, 18 months is probably good for me. Held down sounds terrible. Held down? Well, no, because like Korea means to swerve dangerously across the road. That's it. Or it's a place over in Asia, isn't it? Isn't it? Korea. Oh, Korea. Yeah. Ah. Korea, a carrier. Yeah. There's always those. I suppose it's more acceptable now to be a toy maker or something. I've never really had that position where I've had to really explain what I do yet. Occupation on your passport. I haven't got a passport yet. I've got to get one. I've had one before. I've been allowed out of the country before, but I haven't got one at the moment. So I have to get that one when I get the, the call from Disney to come over and sort them out or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they recognise your, uh, your filmmaking skills. <laughs> filmmaking skills, yeah. And they're like, oh, we've got to get... Conceptual Martin. designing yeah, work. Yeah, we've got to get Martin to design our next 15 Star Wars films. Yeah, I'll go and work at Weta. Well, that was my dream when I was young, to get the name up on the sort of Star Wars. Like, going past on the credits or whatever. But I don't know if I would now. It'd be good if somebody just said, yeah, hey, but just make us a sign in the corner and we put your name up there. So, I don't think it's as glamorous as it is anymore. A lot of them are out of work now, aren't they? All, these, all the strikes. Which is weird being self employed and then you've got to go on strike. I suppose it's, well, it's unionised, isn't it? Entertainment stuff, but. But anyway, war gaming. Well, we, we were touching on something really uh, interesting there about something the scales and abortions not really in people's. The main thing I was going to say is what it really annoys me is because my ministers are quite big, or the right size, should we say, and yours are too small. Yeah. And um, then mine gets shot a lot because yours are just hiding behind pebbles and things. Yep. I'll make sure that I do them all like a really level bending down and stuff. Yeah, hiding. Just to get the maximum amount of fear the. Uh, you know, Meta gaming. Yeah, power gaming. Yeah, so that's what you need to do, guys, is buy the ramshackle games miniatures because you'll obviously win because they can hide easily behind stuff. There you go. Whereas mine just sounds to stand there loud and proud. Ah, no, well, see, the thing, the way to get around it is just build really big scenery. <laughs> build a bigger scenery? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Is it going to be a game of Inquisitor? Like, oh, da -da 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 -da. I always fancied that, sort of like, what's that going to be, 50, 50, was it 57 mil, was it? Hi Rob. Oh, hello. Yeah, Rob. We're, we're doing a show, Rob. Yeah, well, have a great time. Thank you. Was, what, was Inquisitor 50 mil? 57 uh, mil? Like, are we talking about so the top of the head or the eyes? <laughs> it's the eyes. To be honest, those models were a little bit, uh, like, slightly different. Different in what way? Like just different scales. Like different. They were a different scale in the range. They're not. Yeah, I know the proportions weren't. They weren't just literally sort of GW ones whooped up, were they? Because they didn't in have some ways there. they were. Yeah, but then some of them had ginormous hands, and some of them didn't have ginormous. So they're not. I've seen a few of them. They look quite nice, but and I've tried scaling some like obviously printer wise. I can scale things up and go just to. I did an experiment from down to fifteen ten mil, all the way up to fifty odd mil or whatever, just to see what it looked like. Yeah. And things scale weirdly proportionally. Even if you just scale things by like 50%, it looks a lot bigger. It will just suddenly go, because all the proportions are going out. Um, but no, I was just intrigued about that. Like, you like to play a game where you've, you've got larger, they're almost like Star Wars action figure size, isn't it? No, no, that's, How are we doing that's six inches. 20 to 4. 50 mil is two inches. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Star Wars figures are four inches. Really? Barbie's twelve inches. Yeah. Hundred. Just in case you say I don't know, twelve inches. Yeah, but I just wonder. It's like when you got sort of like war gaming with bigger action figures. When it stop the different mentality of how you relate, human beings relate to different sized toys. Well, you know, like like I, I don't know. Playing with action men, you need a big space to do that. Yeah, you can't yeah. Have like a big table. Yeah. 
think that's that's why I. Or it's more scenes where you're something. just moving over here. This character's now moving here and just move behind that chair. It's like if you imagine a, a room. It's not like I'm going across this whole battlefield to here to hide behind this tree. So if you imagine sort of like, I don't know, let's say, for instance, people are kung fu fighting in a room. You go, okay, my character's now over here by this chair, and this one's picking up this, this one's by the window. It's doing this, it's doing that. I don't know. Coolest thing I ever saw, model-wise. Uh, I'm not going as fast as you, but I've only done one side. One, one sick scale. Because they're foot Actually, high. Man, yeah. Yeah. Um, was when I went to UK Games Expo. No, Salute one year. Yeah. They had uh, they had a group in that had loads of one six scale remote control tanks and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. And I had a little I had a little display stand, and one of the tanks like stopped working right next to my stall, but and they came around with a tank recovery vehicle. And picked the tank <laughs> up and drove back with it. It was amazing. It's sort of like role playing it kind of thing. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh shit, that's has got a bit wonky. But it just would just be ginormous. It would be a ridiculous size to try and game. Yeah. You know, I don't. I like. Yeah, well, it's like in mini games. The, the, the characters don't move very far. What is it? Five or ten centimeters. So yeah. that's like ten centimeters max. It's not oh, like yeah, going. Right. So you, what you're saying is game like like. Instead of gaming like a, a battle that lasts ten minutes, game a, an encounter that lasts like three seconds. Like literally yeah. storming a room, and that's your entire game. Yeah, yeah, so you've just got yeah. the room set up, yeah. and it makes a big difference whether or not you run in or shoot the gun and stuff. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Just think off the top of my head, yeah. Starting to paint at about four. What time is it now? Ooh, you got, we got the, what, just about 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. Oh, God, this has gone so quick. Yeah. All right, let's get this I, I think we can get about this bit over there. That, that bit. Of, like, I'm on the other side either. You say, I, I've been doing all the talking, that's my excuse. Got to learn some multi tasks then, man. Should we just get a hammer? Yeah. Yeah, you want to. Stardar again. So, name Stardar. See, this is the thing. Nottingham Dada. Dada well, is a miniature mode. Nottingham Dada is where I was just. Because like, instantly there's like that, there's that other with various groups, and then you go, oh, let's call it this, and then the next thing you know, you've got people from sort of Portsmouth on it. Oh, that is quite true. So, it doesn't really matter. But as soon as you go outside the city and Byron's, you're not included. Let's just nick the hive scum. We just call ourselves hive scum, yeah? Yeah, let's do that then. You have to tell them to stop. Yeah, see, it starts sending them cease and desist. Oh, I thought something. Did you? Is it, you can, can't not share it on the camera? I don't know. Well, there was um, well, a controversial one. There was the Mal Malau one, isn't there? Malau? Malau. The um, anti-chaos god. Yeah, but I'm not, I don't want to name my product after anything Games Workshop. It's not theirs. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want it associated with But I always like that, that's the complete funky thing about it, because the whole thing is they don't own it. But anyway. Um, yeah, but oh, it's... What was the, um, was it the Charterhouse? Charterhouse Walls. These are me being really controversial, so you might have to cut all these bits out. Because that was the Charter House, was where they got Chapter sued. House. Chapter House. Chapter House. Yeah, but what? So call ourselves after Chapter House? Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? Why? What, we might get sued? Yeah, it's just a recipe for disaster. Why? Don't they, didn't they not exist anymore? I think they closed down, didn't they, even after they won? No. They did, didn't they? Well, I mean, like, to be honest, last time I looked at the website probably was last year, but it's still up and running. Is it? Yeah. Oh, so we might get sued by them. So these are bits that might have to be cut out again, Curtis. Yeah. Not the bits, but I mean... So I've just got to be so controversial about some of the bits. I'd look... <laughs> I'm not your boss. You're not the boss of me. Well, this is the name of the, camp, the group or whatever. Yeah, I don't want to name it after, like, after, like a Chaos God. Hive scum is it? It's trademark. Yeah, I don't want to name it after Hive scum. That was just a joke. Okay. okay. How about between the vulture and me? <laughs> what about? Let's just call it Games Workshop. <laughs> Games Designers Workshop. Yeah. 
What about uh, some sort of portmanteau and ramshackle and... Uh, portmanteau? Like portmanteau. You might have to explain for the viewers at home what a portmanteau is. <laughs> for the viewers at home? Yeah. It's one of them words where you, you know, like... Um, right, I'm going to have to like, get quick along here. Like, a word when you combine two words together. Like, okay. when you, like, boxercise. Boxercise? Yeah, like... Or, um... Boxer size, obviously, a combination of the words boxing and circumcised. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> uh, you know, but, you know, that's what a portmanteau is. Where you, you, you I thought it was like a case things. that you used to carry when you went on the grand tour. That you kept your brandy in or something. Yeah, I think it probably is. It's a of furniture as well. Okay. Um, right. Anyway, so this is a word where you... So, you squish uh, some words ram, together. Uh, ram, ram a size. Ram knuckles. Ram a dialing long. Uh, forever. Knock ram. Knock ram. Uh, I think, or a number. Oh, you get 28. 20, uh, just 28. 28. Yeah, 28. Yeah, but then there's like, where the did that come from? 28 collective. Where did that come from? The fact that, that 28 mil is the only correct Yeah, but who, well, who um, uh, coined it? God. God. Yeah, because that's his favourite scale. Is it? I said, well, I'm an atheist, so. But a lot of stuff used to be played in 15. Yeah. For some well, people, it's controversial going towards 15, isn't it? Yeah, well, they're welcome to play it whatever scale they like. I'm going to play it the correct scale. So they don't bring it near me. I'm going to bring it to play it the correct scale. That's okay. Like so, anyway, so 28 is not, that's taken. I mean, we could be the 28 collective. True 28. Look at that, I busted my biro. That is. That is rock, that. It was worn you down. I think that one's done. One. Well done. That's alright, doesn't it? That one. Turned out right. Yes, yeah, that's, that's nice actually. Yeah, you done, you've done. you got the vision. So we've got that, we've got this. Your one, do you reckon you can have. Yeah, yours is looking good too. Well, it's not fast enough. I'm going to have to finish this bit around there. Yeah, I'll have to say. Continue that at least. So let's go. Yeah, I'm going to have to finish this bit around there. I'll have to say. Continue that at least. So let's go. Cross yeah, there. I think in 15 minutes you just you're doing it good. Just yeah. just do some like a, a, a look of something that's happened on the other side, and then maybe hack some bits out of that to look like it's not a thing. There's that thing I made, which is just terrific. Yeah, hit it with a hammer. I had a vision in it, and yours was better. So I still haven't got a name. I don't know. It's, uh, 28 collective. Mm, collective. Collective. What does a collective mean? A bunch of people collected together. Collected. Uh, Twenty-eight cartel. You like cartel, don't you? I like cartel. Yeah, twenty-eight cartel. I do like cartel. I'm not quite sure what it means. It sounds a little bit uh, like we need a manifesto, that kind of thing. Yeah, well, man we have a manifesto. Have we? Yeah. When, when did you write that? Not tell everybody. Like, uh, it's uh, as so far, it is like an unwritten, but it's like, <laughs> unwritten. Uh, yeah, well, just it was just something falling in, just a bit of fun oh. falling out there. Um, unwritten manifesto, yeah, like, game with whatever you want, paint your models, um, yeah. don't be scared to jump in there, yeah, yeah. uh. Perfection is the enemy of completion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that sounds good as a plug wood. Texture. Uh, mature mature gaming, you know? Like yeah. we, we don't we don't power game, no power gamers. You know, so we have got a manifesto going. I need to go and get another pen. Manifesto <laughs> is always at the best, though. Yeah, a bit of. Uh, Do you see if that's still running over there as you're walking past it, it's on. Ons. 45 minutes, yeah. It's ons? Oh, God, yeah. that's probably filling up the memory on that. To work out how to get it off the thing. Yeah. To you. So when he's not here, he's going to sort of smash it up. It's good. Very good.
Very good, very good. I don't know how he's going to cover up those bits. That looks like something Celtic on there. Bits fell off. Nerf. But that bit really works very well, drawing around it and then pushing it in. That works. That's the best bit, is that little thing that you kind of inspired. It does, it just like is so effective, isn't it? And it's it's really so quick. It's simple and good, yeah. And it's really quick. I I've carried on with that. It's always, it's always doing bricks, always looks false. I don't know why. To me. Where's the ball of foil that I have to take home to the cat again? My cat plays with balls of foil. What if you don't take them? Is your cat going to be like. Oh, it's so sad. He looked sad today that I was taking one. He didn't like it. Yeah, that kind of breaks the surface up nicely, so it doesn't look like it's made out of... Well, that was one of the things I remember you doing. You can kind of push them into the bricks. Look, I haven't got anything big enough to do that. I've probably just discovered how to do it now at the end. Push what into? Pushing things in so it's not flat. Ah, oh, yes. Texture. Well, it makes them sort of like it... Doesn't look like they're all blocks of stone. Some of them might be at a slight angle or something. Yep. I suddenly realised I should be using this all the time. Also, like I reckon this bit here, a bit of, a bit of like. Yeah, I have to destroy that bit to make it look a bit better. Distress. Distress it. That's it. Not destroy it. In the last 10 to 5 minutes, I suddenly discovered how to do it all. What time actually is it? We are looking at 15.53. Okay. Getting a few nails in there now as well. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to have time to do this. So, Hit it. Let, no, look, the good bit is that bit. Yeah, is that good? Yeah, it's textured. It's textured. Find your coffee. And then I reckon I'll get this. I reckon I'll have time to do this bit. See, this is what creativity looks like. Sounds like <laughs> creativity with hammer. Because, of course, this sort of stuff can be used for frost grain. We've got to play that at some point, do our own flavour of that, you know. Yeah, I play, like, people have been saying to me recently, I could frost grain these. Yeah, yeah. I haven't even read the rules. Do you, how, do you, how do you even play it? No, you've read it. I think I, I might have played it way back in the day with the kids, at one point, when we were trying to like, get them to war games, because it was meant to be like an entry weight thing. And then, oh, did, did but you got it again with the biro. You broke it, did you want that one? No, no, I don't, because I'll just break it. Pulled the nib off. Throw one of these, look. Get that in there. But, uh... And it won't leave the attractive black mark. Well, use that then. I'm, I'm just... No, no, I'm just fucking... I'm just... Yeah, I'm messing I'll, things up over here. I'll use it. I'm using all different stuff. You use okay. it. You just use it. I'm going to get the twires in there. Twires? Twires. Um... Frostgrave. No, you've got different sorts of wizards. Being in charge of the group. Of... Ne'er do wells looking for treasure. It's basically, I suppose, like more time, but with it's a bit more PG, I suppose. If that's the kind of a possibility. So I don't know why would we want to play it? Why would we want to play a different game? Just to see if it's any good. All right. Uh, rule system. See what the rule system's like. I think is it D twenty thing. Think. So it's a bit Use swingy. these as well for Mac twenty eight. Use what for? What? These for Mac twenty eight. Because that says twenty eight. So we can play any game that What's Mech 28? That's just another game that I want to play. It's that one that Bill uh, Berserker Works did. Oh, with. okay. And then... Um, there was a sudden influx of, like, mech games. And talking of Bill, we've got to play... Uh, Bead Warriors or whatever it is. Um, it's got a really good name, isn't it? But, but Bangarang. Bangarang. By That's Bill, world, isn't it? Bill makes things. Isn't that his world? Bangarang and Angarang. I don't... I, don't, I didn't... I, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's his world. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I have watched his videos, so. 
Um, I hadn't picked up on that. Anyway, yeah, uh, so, because I mean, I know it's, it's rest bikes for town, isn't it? Right. And our buddy Ben as well wrote the rules, didn't he? So, buddy Ben. Or to, they wrote them together or A fork. Rafa. Yeah, fuck Rafa now. Now. Uh, so we've got, I, I want to play some mech games next time. I've designed one. I haven't released it, but I did for, um, because there's Steve. Sorry, you designed a mech or you designed a mech game? No, a mech. A mech for Steve. Uh, at high school. Yeah. He's doing his game. Yeah. And I'm ready to play that too. Because that obviously will be the bestest. So I, I wonder if we, we need to get some mechs again and play some mech games. So they've never made floating my boat, but I don't know because I've not played, so I've got to be more adventurous. Yeah, but like, I mean, because you don't need many of them, you only have like three or four, and they, they sound intimidating because they're giant mechs, but then they're just the same size as a normal, like, as a normal figure. You've just got to do four things. Can you get little buildings about that big though? Sure, but then we could like have like little... giant buildings. Giant, giant buildings. But these don't have any scale to them, do they? They no. could just be giant archways that are tanks. They could, they could be, yeah. yeah. Little tanks. Anyway, we are coming up to 57. Right. It's cloudy in West Bridgeford. Uh, right, have I gone round all the sides of that and just sort of smashed it enough to like break it up? But in the last 10 minutes, I'll just like finish that one, Jax, almost. You might have to. Is that the word feckle? Yes. Is that another word? It's not like portmanteau. Feckle means to like fiddle and fiddle around with. Yeah. Keep working on. Yeah. Portmanteau. Portmanteau? I don't think it's a portmanteau. The portmanteau is one word made from different words. I'm sure it's something that you can like carry all your stuff in. It is. So it could be a piece of luggage where you carry lots of things in, couldn't it? It is both. Drawing it. Well, that's quite good, those little circles. Right. I think we have to have a break for a minute. Now yeah, we're finished making. Before we do, argue, clear up a little bit. Yeah. And then argue about painting them. These are quite good little walls, these are. I quite like these. Spot on. Proper job. Do you want to do uh, these? Oh, I've got that there. bit. Yeah, I've got that bit. Can you do that? Um, I'll draw some lines. Just to do the rubberization. Well, that's probably a cut out window, isn't it? No, no, but like, like, it's just to give it, a, like, oh, I just did that. Uh, just a bit of texture, uh, so there's not a flat plane. Uh, you could do drawing the fitting oh. for where the window goes, if you want. I'm just cutting oh, the hole in here now. Yeah. Not doing that detailed stuff. Still. No, man. Still not come up with a name, though. Really. No, we have not come up with it. Saying it's going to have to be good on a t-shirt as well. Could it be some sort of like saying, like, born, born to roll or something, I don't know. That's I, I am, I, I am roll, quite liking this, this 28 collected though, 28. It's not going to be 28, is it? Oh, you don't, you want to be 28, right? Well, there's Fine. a lot of 28 people around, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like so, and we the, want to appeal to it, and that's our people. Okay. Yeah. Is it not your people? Always forge a different path somewhere else. Who's your people then? My people. Yeah. Like what is your your bag, man? If you had to pick like are you uh you know, are you down with like I mean you're not a you're not one of these like train enthusiasts, are you? Train You're not a Warhammer guy. Right? <laughs> you're not like you like indie stuff. No. We, we all like indie stuff. No. This is all very presumptive. Well, no, it's just like a description of what it's been like then. Isn't it? uh, well, yeah, yeah, I suppose. The, the stuff the, that we've been enjoying. Yeah. Indie is always the thing, I suppose, what is independent. Like, there's one big company and everything else is independent. At which point do you say that they're independent? Is I the don't next know. question. Um, but then I asked him, what is my bag? I don't know. Um, oh, oh, whimsy. 
Whimsy is a word a lot of people use sometimes. Yeah, uh, how about we call ourselves Arcane Whimsy? Arcane Whimsy, that sounds all like very kind of like Cornish Celtic type stuff going on, which I don't disapprove of at all. Yeah. Uh, it's closer though, isn't it? It's the best thing you come up with somewhere. Magic mushrooms. No, I don't reckon drug references. References, no. Except for mini games, there's one big drug. Well, there you go. Apart from my game. Yeah, <laughs> the mini games casual, mini games gateway, and mini games hardcore, and I'm going to do mini games overdose as well. Yeah, so apart from that, <laughs> apart from it being a, ref- a massive drugs reference. Well, well, yeah, but like, do we just call that? What's on the end here? Uh, a statue. You can do the statue. Oh, come on, just draw a stick do a figure. Statue. Draw a stick figure and then jab no, out no, all no, around no, it. No, no, no. You've got the good pen as well. I'm clearing up. I'm making piles of stuff here. Um, anyway, because it's ended, that's it. Stop. Now, stop. No, because Stop. I'm, look, I've got this bit. Oh, that's really good now. Yeah. Stop. There's blood on this bit as well, so you can have that back. <laughs> um, Really? This is always the debate, is that you can't actually start before you actually make a, a name. Like if you're designing a game, you have to make the name of the game before you actually can... Print the cover of the rule. Before you can even start writing the rules. Wow. Uh, are we using that bit? That's what it's... Yeah. Oh, That's going to paint it out. No. Yeah, yeah if you want to start it. Yeah. Well, you can you, 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 You're doing the finished fettling with your portmanteau. Um, maybe that's what it should be called, Portmanteau. No, that sounds something <laughs> like, a, like a Conservative MP would call this company. Minister without Portmanteau. Yeah. Um. Even this side that looked all damaged, where the thing had been. I, like that, yeah. I reckon it looks like bullet holes and stuff, doesn't it? Like, that looks I've pretty, just got to do this sweet. bit and then we're done. Um, do you want to just have a bit of a fettle of that section there, here, and that bit? With me, um... Breaking up the surfaces. I don't know, I don't know. There's things like... Well, there's a band called L7, wasn't there, or something like that. Right. Um, but I'm sure that came... Pardon? UB40. UB40, oh, that, UB40, that's, that's your dull thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, that's where I But I think L7, I think that came from Doctor Who. There's a robot called L7. I right. might be wrong, I might be doing something else. I don't know. Um, so you're saying just a number, some random number? A number, not a free one. But your 28 is obviously taken. Uh, 29. 32. Because that's, yeah. the, that's the podcast, isn't it, that this, um, in fact, we can't do that. Because that's nice then, that was fair. Because the 28 mag guys have already bag 32. Have they? Of the podcast. Yeah. And well, nobody listens to that, so we can do that one. <laughs> Excuse me, I listen to it. Do you? You're, you're their viewer. No, I love it really, I'm not, not doing it. I've got interviewed. Can, yes. I'm on it. You got interviewed? Yeah, I'm on it. I did listen to it, you were quite natural. I can't remember what you said, but you said something weird and hippie or something. I said back in 1992. I'm used to play with real words. Tim Burns, they just invented the internet. And gave it to everybody for free. Say something hacking, hacking. What was I hacking a chair? Quite happily hacking before. Using my fingers. Well, we've run over the time then. Alright, done, to. done, done. Oh, well. Good for you. Frank in a jar. So it doesn't look like Ooh. foam. Right, so we've had right. one injury. Yeah, it's pretty savage as well. Was it, was, it, like... was it a bit deep and you're telling me? Yeah. It didn't look like it was. Through. It did look like it was weeing around a bit, that was. I've got blood over everything. That's part of the safety. Uh, this, is, this works really well, I've just found this big thing. Hey, it's looking good in camera though, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that looks like a proper bit of scenery. So they advise you when you're doing that sort of thing to take photos of your stuff and look at it, reverse it so it looks different. I don't know. 
Wow, I'm looking forward to painting this. Right. Okay, so should we should we stop it? Stop for a minute to tidy up, make more coffee, have a wee. So, having a little look at what we've made. Quick flyby, that bit looks awful over there, but these bits look great, the indentations. Those little indentations that it works on them a bit. Okay, it's made earlier. There's a little man down there. Bits of size and the rubble. And the not so great arch that I made. Boom. And he's back in the room. Look at that, that looks lovely that does, <laughs> that scenery you made there. Oh, what lovely scenery I've made. Let's have a look, turn it sideways. There we go. Uh, okay, we're onto it and painting. Painting. What is this? Is this your gunk that you? That is a brown. One that of my is your ones. brown forever. Painting. Now you say I'm on to washes. You might want to use this delightful brush. That looks a bit new. Yeah. Yeah. It was a pound. It's yeah. a pound, 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 pound. Pound, pound. Yeah. So just pound. please open it and use it. Ooh, and then yeah. you can't complain about not having a good brush. It's like an old man's head. Something like that. So. Well, you've I can't got complain one. about having a good brush. Uh, right, so you're doing white. I'm doing, doing darkness from the bottom. Yeah. You haven't got any green, have you? So uh, you want to, I do have you want black it down there? Good. Blacker down there and brown at the top. All the other way around. Okay. So what we're using here is what I always use for my uh, washes. I've got my models. You may have noticed, uh, which is Vallejo Game Wash Dipping Formula. Vallejo. 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 Which a lot of people haven't put in the news lately that they were bought out by a um, investments company. Okay. For like 50 million euro or something. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't a small amount. Um, so, yeah, you know, like, uh, what are they? Not investment bankers or speculators or whatever they're called. I don't know. Um, oh, not about that. Yeah, it's got an answer to something. Oh. So, work poorly, you probably forgot to post something. No, it'll take two seconds. Uh, shall I, I'll take over, shall I? Well, you do, you I work. can't do both, I'll just Right, over. so I am painting with a massive brush, okay? You're gonna get brush lines, but I like brush lines. Brush lines add texture and delightfulness, makes you look like you're a painter rather than making models. We're not making something to be realistic, we're making something to look great and textural and painted. Looks a bit like bird poo. Mmm, yeah, because you get a lot of that on our buildings as yeah. well. Plus as that. well, I'm using super cheap paint. I've got some De La Roni stuff. Uh, so it's going to dry Don't more, it it's going to dry more transparent than yeah. when it goes on. So even if it is shockingly white, it won't end up that way. So don't worry, just use a big brush, just go for it. We've got an hour, 45 minutes to get this done. So, let's get it done! Dry, dry, dry. Argue about painting. Painting together for the first time. Dun, 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 dun. No, 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 black no, what are you bottom. talking about? We've done like, at least, how many of the build, bash and play? Two? Yeah, we haven't painted each other's stuff. Uh, in a way. I mean, I painted your stuff. Oh, oh you did, didn't you? Yeah, I did those, that Hang really on. cool gang of like, uh, your heads on my Iron Brothers. Oh yeah, you just ravaged my it? models and... Yeah, terrifically cool. mashed them up. Yeah, it was it was called a kit bash event. Oh yeah, that was it. Uh, oh, look at that! I'm putting this out. All oh, the texture, lovely. I'm doing this thing of not actually putting the paint or the water near me. Yeah, near me. I was going to grab the green as well. So what I always end up doing is one of the things with washes is the way I do them anyway. Put loads of water on it. He wanted me to do it this way. I'm taking me notes. Some brown there, some blue up there. Do, 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 Can you tell what it is yet? No, you can't say that anymore. Destroyed my childhood. Well, not personal. I don't know how this is going to react to his wife there. We're doing this the wrong way around. So I don't want to be doing this and then you've got to try and do white over the top of this and then I'm doing what? Hey, guess how old this paint is? 25 years. 30 years. 30 years? Oh, it's pretty much something deadly in it, isn't it? 
Don't bring that No, it still smells fine. Uh, right, I was going to suggest wet blending some of the green into it. Wet blending, okay, sure. Where are you going to put the green? Have you got something to splat that out into? Yeah, just on, just try that. Where's the lid? Why don't we get back in the lid? Well, that's fine. It's a 30 year old paper. It's a crazy <laughs> kind of guy. Yeah. So dark black a bit I sort of reckon, long. I reckon a bit less actual wet, because it's going to take bloody ages to dry. Oh, oh, oh. Give me some paper then. Oh, you've got the posh toilet uh, kitchen right here. Is it? Everyone says it's quality. Well, it doesn't fall apart. How do you know? Oh, okay. So then I'll put some on and take it off. Right, there you go. How do you know if it's good? How do I know? Yeah, good. Oh, uh, it's kind of like, it's, it's usually the judge is your finger's going to go through it when you have a poo. Silence again. Oh, I was concentrating on my paintwork. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. Um, you always seems to be concentrating. Processes. This is the bits where I make a joke, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So, give me a guffaw. But I need to put water on to do it. Sure. I'm I always feel very nervous saying. around you now. I'm feeling really nervous saying. again. You're making me nervous. <laughs> oh, it's just not working though. You said that we were supposed to have an argument about painting, and I'm trying to start arguments about painting. And then you oh, go, right, right. Oh, I'm so nervous. Well, like artists like, of old. Yeah, just. Uh, I always like that idea that those sort of like. Has there been any films like that where you have artists? You know, like, you have the, like, not Dada. Oh, no, they had a fight. Yeah, some of them had a fight. A proper punch up at one time. Like at a show where somebody came in demanding to know if somebody else was there. And, have been plagiarising the work. That's the old plagiarising. That's a that's a thing, isn't it? Uh, but it's like the idea of artists sneaking around to look through each other's windows. Oh, he's using blue. Oh, I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> and then going home and doing loads of blue and doing it in the show. And going, oh, he's used blue. Blue is mine. But so, so is that going to be our controversial thing? We've got the heater going under here, so I'm going to put the scene. You're warming your legs. To dry. What, what do you mean? Is that going to be our controversial thing? Yeah. What is? What, like, what are we going to argue about? What now? Yeah, like as artists. Well, you're always arguing and telling me I'm, I'm using too much water because it won't dry in time. Yeah. And I need to use water to actually do my work to create. Yeah. And take on, put off. It's a bit of a. Is it? Um... But not all over. What do you mean not all over? I thought we had this conversation already. Why well, didn't listen? Right. Like that, where we leave some of the grey, some of the actual colour of the actual grey stuff, otherwise what's the point of making out grey? You're just going to stain it all the same colour. Well, it's not staining it, the grey's still there, you can see it. You say you don't want me to do it across the middle at all? Yeah, I was like, you work out from the bottom. So, oh, okay. So yeah. we have a lovely brown at the bottom. Brown, I thought it was black at the bottom, that's black. Well, that is brown and green mixed together. Mm. That's, that's what I was brown, saying. That's do the, you were like, yeah, I'll do the stains from the bottom. And I look over and you paint it on. Getting just... on with it. Getting on with it, Curtis. <laughs> getting on with it. So you're like, so look, that's when you, you can let that bit of dry and then you just dry brush it. You've got to do it your way, mate. Oh, you're such a control freak on this. Uh, yeah, you exactly, are. exactly. Want it your way? Yep. It's my way of the Nobody else is allowed to play. No. Not around Shackle Towers, my friend. Is it? Is it? This is why. Hey, it's lovely that uh, texture you did with the hammer. Yeah, and the tin foil. Tin foil, yeah, yeah, yeah. That does make a difference. So is that all right now? There, that, like that. I reckon. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, a bit more blending. Though, what to there to here? Yeah. You might have to make that wet, won't I? You mean like that? Yeah. There you yeah, go, see that. Exactly, yeah, 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 then it's done. Next. That looks better. Oh well, you do it your way. Alright, I'm sorry for making it wet in the middle, Curtis. You do, you do it your way, no, no, no. and then it will still wear the dry by the time... You wanted the green at the bottom as well, didn't you? No. You did, did you say green? I did, I did say that. I did say that. But, you're just going to have to do it your way. It's gone wrong there. Yeah. It's almost like pain, isn't it? Yeah, like I was saying, wet blend it, my friend. You're just shaking your head there, aren't you? Yeah. Dude. Uh, what colour is it you're using for the, for, for, for the dark? Is it that one? For the dark? Well, black at the bottom, brown at the top, and 
I normally mix it a bit, but. This will be a sort of like terrible silence now. Dun, 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 dun. Our artistic, I said, I'm never working with that mat again. It just doesn't listen to anything I say. I don't know, that green's just turned into a paint. That's gone terrible. Should have made it a wash type thing there. Oh, it's kind of working in now. Yeah, wet blending, my friend. I know wet blending. Just make it wet. Yeah. Wet blending, it's just wiping it on and off. Like uh, Mr. Miyaki, or whatever his name is. Wax on, wax off. Now, what are you going to do down this middle bit here? Yeah, I don't know. I reckon you're, you're dark brown, black. Stuff. Getting black in there, a bit of black. Wet blending, as they say. Me. I just put the, the brown on raw and it's Yeah, you need black yeah, in it. It's, the, black. it's the mixing the two together. So I say that was one of the secret things of the painters of uh, G Dub was the mixing agrax and uh, non oil. Never put them on straight, but it's like where are they? Is that all they do? I don't think I've ever used any nail oil. I've never actually no. owned any nail oil. See, I don't like uh, Sistel paints, basically, the paint paints, because they're awful consistency. This is my view, uh, everybody loves them, each their own. Potato, potatoes. But, um, but the washes, or whatever they want to call them, because they call them different things all the time, shades, washes, wash shades. Um, I like them. I like the nail oil. And I think it was the high scum dudes where they were talking about using, is it rattling grime, is actually really nice black. Yeah, I've heard that rattling grime's good as yeah, well. Yeah, because Nolan is more of a kind of like wishy washy grey, really, or sort of like smoky. Uh, so I think I might have gone off plan again here again, Curtis. Oh, it's alright, you've just got, you've got to do you, mate. I know, exactly. You can't make me paint like you. No, I know. I tried. I know. For the viewers. So I have some sort roll, of control. Just, uh, I'll hand it over to you and you can wipe it all off and then do it again. Yeah. Now I have to do all the bloody work myself. Are you bloody yeah. kids? No. Smear, 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 smear. Yeah, no, the, the shade's good. Shades are good. There's also the whole thing about the changing... Uh, God, we're racking through this stuff real quick. Sorry about that. What do you mean do you apologise for doing it quick? No, no, I mean, I, uh, we're using up your... Watch oh no, 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 don't worry, I've got tons of stuff. Uh, you get sponsored. Maybe we can get sponsored, sponsored by Fahehol. No, I'd like to actually, I, I do like their stuff. The Leho stuff is good. It's like, there's no, there, there isn't anything weak in their range. You go, mm, actually that's, oh actually some of their washes are a bit rubbish. But, uh, oh sorry. Okay. Um, no, and they're a good sort of, they seem to be an ethical company in a way. They don't mess people about on destroy things or I don't know, whatever. But no. Rip uh, off people's IP. Well, well, well that other place is green or something, I don't know. There's some stuff in it as well, isn't yeah, there? I heard some stuff. But They're we, also we can't, be, we can't be dissing people that we don't know the facts. No, because they will sue properly. They will sue. Um, but, uh, yeah, different copyrights in different countries and things. But, well, that's really cool. I like that. Stick it under the blower. Let's get it dry. It's cool. Yeah, it is down there. And uh, those Couple ones should front. be dry as well, so if you want to... Get your sticky things out. Get your oh, this fell over, that one fell over there. I'll take it. There we are, out from the dryer. Now, which way is the bottom on this one, that way? Uh, I reckon, no, I reckon... The other way up. No, no, I reckon that. Laying down? Well, because oh, you that's imagine... Shit, that's that, that, no, no, that no way. it looks good, it looks good, but how are we going to, like... Stand it up. Yeah, yeah that's true. Like, you're going to put it on the table, it's a bit of room. Yeah. So don't worry too much about direction, just do like whatever effect you feel. It's not going to be that way up, is it? It's not going to be like a banana laying on the table. No. Banana for scale, so it's going to be that way up. So it's going to be darker underneath. Have you nicked my brush? No, there it is. So what we're saying, paints. I'm going to say, what is your favourite paint? And you're just going to go. <laughs> no, me, I'm just like uh, any paints. Is, Anything. It's my favourite paint. Any paint in the store. If you get, I don't think I've ever had a paint and thought, I can't do anything with this paint. Yeah. Uh, I I used to live out in Grand Canary, and when I moved back, 
all my stuff was getting shipped. Right. So it was it was literally on a boat, something on a slow boat. From, from the Canaries back to the UK. Yeah, so uh, I wanted to do some model making. We were playing some Realm of Chaos. Yeah. And I basically begged up crappy old models that my friends didn't want. Mm. Just stuff that they had like in their bits box. They had maybe like, Never I mentioned. think I had like six. Or the one six, that was left. Six row right? here, which is, what are you going to do with that without the horse? You know, it's, it's like <laughs> Just standing there like that, weren't they? Uh, and I'm Between the riders? Yeah, well, the yeah, rider models, but without that. As well. Oh, okay, so it wasn't just the riders that had been left, so they're kind of like John waning it around the board. It was probably, now that I think about it, it was probably the uh, Numenor, no, the Gondorians. See, I don't want to go over all your dry brushing here. Yeah, please do, it's, it's an under. Uh, under dry brush. Yeah, and then we'll do an over as well at the end for bits that need to be. Oh, they had a word for it. Anyway, so yeah, your rover in. So, was. I went and bought uh, the cheapest paints I could buy to do, which is like the. Um, just like acrylics from, from oh, the hobby dinner. But like the craft ones. Oh, and I hate people doing that. I bought this, this gold that was just. It was supposed to be gold, but it was like about three pieces of pigment per cubic centimetre of really rubbish medium. Mm. But when you paint it on, I was doing like a like chaos sort of magic infused. 40k, it was like a zinch wall band for 40k. Yeah. Mm. Dry, like painting this stuff on. So like dry brushing in the bare plastic white, and then adding this stuff over the top and then shade in with like washes of blue and purple. Mm. It, it just gave it this mad otherworldly look, like sort of iridescent gold. My fact, God. That like, you couldn't paint a decent picture with it, yeah. but it was amazing for just doing these weird effects. So any paint is a good paint. Just, Bonkers. You just gotta like, say a wizard did it, you know, if it goes wrong. The wizard did it. I think it's like, yeah, we're from different drug-induced generations. Some sort of crazy ass shit that is, guys. It's not that crazy. It is. It's not that crazy. You're allowed to paint your models any colour you like. Mm. Um, but but why do they do box art, though? So as if you want to do it that way, you can do that. That's crazy. Right. Oh, I've mixed this. What I did is I put the green straight on. I've mixed up a little bit of a greeny washiness down there. Now, do you want to critique this one, Curtis? No. Yes, you do. I, I, I value your feedback. Do some more streaks. Thin, thin streaks. I haven't got a thin brush. You only gave me this one. Uh, excuse me. Look at the brushes in front of me. <gasps> oh, I and you look at the point on the tip of it. It's got a pointy tip. Like this kind of thing. You're right, though. This is why I was asking. So what do you reckon to it? Well, you haven't used it, have you? Oh, you are using it. This stuff. Yeah, it's lovely. Absolutely See? lovely. Gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's got a certain sort of syrupiness to it. Yeah. yeah it well, sort of like for the price of it, what's one of those? That's seven pounds. Seven pounds sixty-five. From Element Games in Nottingham. Support your local Element Games. No, um, there are nice guys down there as well. Do you ever go there? I've been in a couple of times. Yeah, then, yeah. Like, mm. it's a little shop. I but. was, uh, I, I was like um, talking quite loudly with my friend <laughs> about what white should I get? Like, what's the most the best coverage white? Somebody came up to help in vertical. Well, right? like the shop assistant was like. I know what the best white is, and was just like straight in there, like really super friendly, you know, oh, okay. really like knew their paint range. Oh, that's good then. I've, I've got quite a good experience. Not, yeah. not a, a Warhammer shop experience. I don't mind Warhammer shop experience. Oh, I hate this. Come on, go. Hi, what were you playing? Yeah, but then I tell them, and then they just shut down. They look oh. blank. And, and I'm like, no, like, I want to talk to you about my weird do, niche do, project. Do, 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 do. I've had that as well. Where they go, oh, what are you playing? And I say, oh, I'm playing Forbidden Psalm and stuff. Like, Have you already done this one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I did notice how you picked the, sm the, the smallest one and left the two big ones for me. 
to notice that. Is that finished? We finished this, haven't we? Well, no. Uh, what was I just? Oh, yeah. We haven't done the. Look, you get on with that one, and I'll do what some. One? This one. Oh, that's alright, but that's, they all look like they're done drying, unless you want to put some more on them. Uh, we need to do the toothbrush parts. Oh, is this where you do the flicky flicky toothbrush? No, this is where we do the flicky flicky toothbrush. Oh, or, yeah. that's what I'm saying, you get on with doing Who's this. Who left that in there? Oh, he's knackered that brush anyway, it's a matter of the... No, I'm not sure. Where's the brushes? Do you want to do this job? Oh, what's the job? Mm. Bring this? in dark, you're putting darkness in there and then... And runs and... The same as well, you did. Yeah, 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 right. Do you want to do that job? And I'll get the toothbrush yeah. and do some flicking. Okay. I'll sit here and drink coffee, actually. Did you make sure that's still running? It is. We've been 20 minutes, so we're on time. Wow. So, uh, how can I mess this up when it's not here? Put some of that in there. Oh, it's not small over there, actually, that is. <laughs> but no, army painters coming in, apparently, with their new... They call it Fanatic, I can't remember the new range. They seem to be paying a lot of people to say it's great. But, I don't think they put their names to it if it wasn't. It would be a bit embarrassing if it wasn't good. The paints I like to use are the cheapest ones that I can get, which is, uh, I've found, is that um, Coat to Arms, Oh, I've never they tried are those. 100% acceptable. Are they, are some, they cheap as well? They're, 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 I mean, they're about the same price as normal paints, but they're just a little bit cheaper. They're like 60, 70p quid cheaper than a lot of why, brands. Why do you want cheap ones? Aside not, from? Because then I can buy like 10 of them instead of 5 of them. That's why. Right, okay. And I don't mind a bit of a rubbishy paint, like I'm saying, because you, you just got to find the application for that paint. And I just have loads of paint, so it's like, yeah, you, ultimately you're going to come up with a use for them. Have you never been tempted by uh, mixing your own up, say I just get the primaries, get some good high quality primaries like uh, with uh, uh, good heavy pigment so I can like, then... Um, I just go cheap, I just go cheap own. every time and I never have a bad experience. Yeah, but if you get some high pigment paint so you can just mix your own there, really, can't you? But I suppose it's, I don't like the idea of not being able to pick up so I can go, yeah that's the blue I want. All of those things. I'm All 100 of the percent behind. Nicking paint off you as well. You left that big bag here. So I've been. <laughs> well, have you been in there, have you? Well, I had that green. I had to go with that green. The one that was in the. That green. They're like the bigger dropper bottles. Oh, come here. oh, uh, oh, everybody loves them. Yeah. Oh. The white. That was the white that I got from. Yeah, the yeah. Oh, I can't remember. What are those called? Right, they come to me. I just don't want the uh, The paints are meant to be really good, very high pigment. What you No, no, I just put the um, the model down right. in some of the white paint. Right. Well, this is what happy accidents. It actually does look quite good. There you go. Um, I almost had the name of it in my tip of the tongue. The paint? The paint, yeah. Doesn't matter. But they're very high pigment and stuff, so. Uh, yeah, a lovely medium. Yeah, yeah. But they're also like, I think like bottles. But this is where you're taking the bonus of the thing I have, where I just like, oh, I'll just collect a paint range and then get a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have been the uh, the beneficiary. But they're my <laughs> AK paints are my favourite at the moment. They're very matte, nice, non-glossy. But then I feel like I'm need to, to get change. a bit of plastic to put under the table. Otherwise, we're going to have rectangles in the carpet. Oh, what? Just on the carpet whilst it's drying. But this reminds me also of making things out of uh, phone. I think it was uh, doing different shout outs to different people on the internet just in case they, this is this cross pollination thing. Yeah. Uh, do you remember Old Man Paints? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. He's a good friend, yeah. Oh, he's a good friend, yeah, yeah. I think he was talking about paint some of my stuff. He was trying to, I think he was trying to angle for some freebies by the time he's gone by. Oh, uh, he's he horrible. Should have, should, should have sent them some, man. He did a great do. job. I will do, I should ask. But no, he did like a boil, he did a diorama. I yeah, hope I didn't upset him. Yeah, I hope I didn't upset him because he was got like the, there was the polystyrene that he'd used, and you could still see the sort of like it was obviously polystyrene, 
but that's in the great tradition of that's what they did back in the day. No, no, I think it, we, we had a good conversation. I, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. was positive all around him. Yeah, really yeah. Like, you know, he was going on about like, because we all get like, you know, the imposter syndrome of, oh, am I not good enough? Even though he just won the top prize. Mm. You know, uh, of the, like the most old hammer thing that was the old hammer day. Mm. Um, yeah, and just like like that, that we can all appreciate this sort of like doing exactly what we're doing, just getting the foam out, and it's going to give you certain textures, and you've just got to yeah, kind of yeah. lean into them. But well, that was the old days, wasn't it? Where they used to be like, oh, a big block of polystyrene to make your 40k stuff, and then you didn't care about covering up the texture that it looked like polystyrene. Yeah, that's, um, what, that's what plastic yeah, yeah, yeah. is made, looks yeah, like. Yeah, you know. and then you'd hit it with a spray can, not realising at your younger age that it'd melt it, and you go, oh cool, it looks like chaos has been at it. Yeah. Multi-melter. Yeah. Getting out, all, getting, out your, getting out your polystyrene cement to melt it with, and sticking on that U-Hoop stuff. U-Hoop. Uh-huh. U-Hoop. I keep putting brown on the bottom. I know. Oh yeah. Get that one's looking nice. Get in there, get that in there. That one's the best one you've done so far. Do you like Thank that you. light there? <laughs> yeah, Scott's lamp. He'll spot it in the video. What? Look, it's, oh, Scott. It's, it's the one I sold to Scott. And he'll say, oh. The Curtis at, at the start was like, no, you can just use a normal lamp. And now he's using that. Yeah, it's just big. <laughs> So you're not allowed to just uh, use lights. Are you watching me? Oh shit, you're watching me because there's a brown on the bottom there. No, 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 I've been using brown on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, it just breaks up a little bit. Brown on the bottom. Yeah, I think these need the dark in them. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because I'm not dark, yeah. I'm just doing the bottom. Make sure I get inside my arch. But, uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, what was I saying? Uh, Paints. Yeah. Polystyrene, oh, oil. Yeah, 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 polystyrene, yeah. Here's rubbish stuff to try and model with that. Yeah. So are you going to this one in Sheffield as well, which is? S lead and steel. Tell the, tell the um, uh, adventurers at home. Lead and steel on the 6th of April in Sheffield. I can't remember the exact venue. Best place to look for it is on Facebook. It's at a shop, isn't it? I, I, I honestly. Or gaming centre shop thing. I might be wrong. I might be completely wrong. I think you're correct. Uh, should be some cool people there. Like, I've already had loads of my friends are going, oh, you're going to that? You're going to that? You're and right. I'm definitely going. Well, you haven't it's... said if I'm going. You haven't asked me if I can tell you. I just you assumed you were. Oh, well, you assume. And there's me sitting at home with me sort of like glad rags on and nowhere to go. Oh, okay. Well, do you, would you like to come with me? Oh, you are. Oh, I'd love to. Brilliant. Let's go. I was actually nervous about going to boil that year as well. <laughs> well, there's, there's all the people, isn't there, and stuff. And yeah. You're not used to know. You don't know. You don't know everybody. No, I only know them because I like to go and meet people. I know, so. but yeah, you're gregarious with your portmanteau. <laughs> Whereas, like, it's That's like, not how that works. That's not how I need it. Your portmanteau doesn't work that way. <laughs> but anyway, no, it was good. But, yes, there's that one going on up there in Sheffield, which isn't that far. And you don't fancy salute this year, you're saying? Salute, oh, no, not really. It's a bit of a tr trad historical wargaming place, isn't it? It's not really. I just could never blooming time it to get the to get a table, and I'm like, I went one time and did like a uh, like a demo game. Oh yeah, but I mean to go and look and watch and see. Well, see what's going I don't on. have enough money for that sort of thing anymore. Want to go and watch? Yeah. Oh. Because, you know, you've got to travel down, you've got to like... Well, I think some people talk, maybe it's like Simon might have talked about going and stuff, maybe a drive across because he's only in Birmingham. You persuade those people with cars to do the driving. No, you're not, you're not convinced at all, are you? Saluting idea. Anyway. If I go, I want to go and like talk about my game and sell my game and models. Yeah, and, like, yeah. That's yeah. what I've got. Okay. Rather than just kind of looking at everybody else's. Yeah, well... Yeah. Pick up the D and thing. But there's a Depticon one year as well, isn't there? Yeah, I can't, I don't want to go this year, but... 
I'm definitely not going to have 700 quid spare. No, I'm not either. No. It'd be nice to maybe 2025. The yules! Sell lots and lots of toys. Go to the toy show. Because there's Essen as well, it's the biggest one. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. big boy game, that is. Big boy soldiers. Um, I'm not convinced that we should have them brown on top of this for some reason, I don't know. No, that's alright. Just I, I reckon in where the rubble is, yeah, it should be yeah. like brownie yeah, black. Yeah, that's true. Some in there, definitely. Put some water on there first. It's uh, nice though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put them out. I'm, um, I was dubious, I'll tell you that. Well, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we have got enough to do some great photos. Yeah, yeah. With your... Make it dark. <laughs> where's your, uh... Where's I wasn't your... sure what, what my bit. Yeah. It's up there on the table next to the, um, I don't know what the hell's going on, purple ones. Because a few of these have got no back on them, so like... Oh, so you can put it up against it. These ones are just backless. Right. So they'll just be the kind of thing that we can... So I always wondered with the Vistari and stuff, whether it should just be like you're wandering through a gigantic, endless cathedral. A bit like Gormenghast. <laughs> I think there's a bit of everything. Because you could have a continent-sized cathedral. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just just like, what, and that's just one of the cathedrals. If you just imagine a hive-sized cathedral, kind of like with different people and cults in different corners and stuff, that are fighting down corridors to increase their... Like, we want that bit over there. We need to do some singing, it's got better acoustics. Oh yeah, we're going to do like a, I was thinking, like I go, Fostorian! And you do like the, the you do like a, <laughs> Just honk. Um, you go like, Fostorian! No, 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 and we do it together. No, 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 I don't sing like that. No, no. no. And I go, Fostorian! And we put them together. And then make it kind of like an oversight. Yeah, I don't know. It's like one line. You just line. did. You just did. What is this for some sort of like musical interlude or something? To the beginning. To the beginning of the thing. Yeah. That kind of thing. Choral music. Ooh, I think maybe it doesn't look quite dark enough in there. Dark, black in there. Yeah, right. Dark, it just, black. It just looks like, it kind of like, it looks lighter than the rest. Dark, black, dark. But apart from that, it's need some more streaks off the corners though. Because you will basically Brown or black, a bit of both, isn't it? Because you basically you get dirt on the top and yeah. then it runs down. Yeah. Because mm. if you have it clean on top, yeah, it just it looks like somebody's got got a scrub in it. Look at my hands. I'm never gonna play the piano again. <coughs> there you go, like that kind of shit going on. Oh, yes. Ooh. Yes, no, like that. Like that, make it bleed. That's too much water though, okay? Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> you want, it to, you want it to bond to the corners yeah. and then run down, rather than like putting it on and then letting it all leak away. So I wasn't really listening to what you were saying there, but is that working? Well, I could do more like that. So paint the edges. Mm. And then drip it in a very obvious way. I'm being too subtle there. No, I, I think you're letting done. the water do do the work. Right? I normally do. Though. Yeah, I normally do as well. But this like corners, it just, mm. it just adds a bit of realism yeah. to what is not very realistic. So yeah. we're trying to like, do it. Oh well, I'll go around and do all that. <laughs> I'll do it better. I'll go around and do it better. <laughs> I just get obsessive about this. You do, don't you? It gets obsessive. Yeah, yeah, it is done. It mm. is, this is literally the last bit. Making it dry. Well, actually, probably figuratively the last bit. Four minutes past five. Okay. One hour to dry. Then um, uh, Gabe will be late. Well, he said he was coming now, didn't he? So what, now now? Yeah. Now, now, now. Yeah. He said he'd be here by five. No, he's not, is he? <laughs> I didn't think he would be here by five. Yeah. Yeah. 
we're going to publicly shame Gay. Now Gay's awesome. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> runs a really cool. He runs 3D Kingdoms as well. So it's a whole kingdom of 3D. Yeah, he does really. I've seen his prints as well. I was like super impressed with the quality. He does them all in that weird green transparent. He doesn't say they're like gummies. I don't know about them myself. They're oh, great. Right. They paint up. Yeah. I just don't like looking at them myself. I like to see. I know it's weird, isn't it? But I they, like to but see they just make the resin is just way better because it gets it it mm. goes right to the edges rather than uh, right to the edges with me. Right. Because I think the trans the the opaque stuff does weird things to the light. That's the theory: is that if yeah. you've got something that's clear, the light can still refract through it. Yeah. And then and get nicer edges. And they do nice, which to me is, you know, like compost heaps. Yeah. Anybody who builds a compost heap or gardeners have all got a different Practice. view on how to do a compost heap. Yeah. It's the same with 3D printing and resins and blah blah blah. Everybody's got their little thing. Printers are so advanced. And all right. Detailed. Well, I just saw Gabe's stuff. No, and I thought it was really good. Yeah. It, it looks up. good. It looks good. Yeah. So I painted it up, yeah. and I was like, wow, this is yeah. a really good print. Yeah. It's like the, the, the resolution of printers now, you get to the point where the human eye can't tell the difference. It's just, you go from 8K, 12K, whatever. 12K is the highest, apparently. But even then, that's different about the size of the print and all this kind of blah, blah, blah. Faux hammer goes on about it. He knows all the stuff about prints. But yeah, personally, I like to have something that just looks like a great plastic. It's just, that's what I like to do. It does look nice off the printer. Like, it's, even with the resin, it's like, you know, if you get a nice gray color, yeah, because yeah. like trying to look at the white when you do white resin, which is kind of basically yeah. the colour that the resin comes in, you can't see. Oh, the your bubbles. stuff, you. Yeah, you yeah, can't really yeah. see the bubbles. In there. No, so no, no, no. You, you dye it grey, and it just everything pops. It looks great. Yeah, the stuff I use is the it's Cyrotec nice. navy navy grey blue. It just looks a really nice colour. I think I went a bit too heavy on the dry brush. No, no, you do the finishing touches. That's me not being lazy, but it is just it brings it all together so it looks like it's done by one hand. Yes. But yeah, no, that's kind of like from zero scenery. We've got a basically a table. Table as well. Well, the central piece, isn't it? The theme piece. Because I was yeah, reckoning. It's there. You get some tweets and shit out and stuff. Yeah, I was looking to get the trees out. Yeah, yeah. So it's it like makes a, it like an overgrown, broken yeah, down yeah. garden thing. Yes. And make up some sort of scenario of why they're all there fighting each other. Are they looking for a book? Uh, I was thinking maybe relics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they need to be darker or is that? Okay, oh, those are the deeper. Mine aren't as deep as yours. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. No. A bit no, it's fine. no, that's good. So, yes, scenery made. Drawing. Okay, well, we're we'll trying video playing on it. Where can you find us? Where can we find your stuff? Like a bone spin is on what? Everywhere, yeah. apart from Twitch, Twitter, threads. I'm not on those. Okay. Tiki Toki. So where either. do you actually go to buy your stuff? Where to buy my stuff? My mini factory. Where there's my mini factory. There's tribes on there. There's links to only games. Whether you get physical printed miniatures. There's also a Patreon on Patreon, but yeah, it's basically just Google it now, really. Yeah, yeah, same with Games. I mean, I'm like quite active on in Rusty Trust Discord server. Oh yes, Discord and as well. And 28 Discord. Uh, you can find my stuff at www.ramshackergames.co.uk. Not anymore, people don't say, but the World Wide Web. Yeah, http backslash backslash. 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 And is that the upper or lower case? I don't I used to hate that job people with emails go, was that upper or lower case? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, and all those things. Hey, oh, there it's Gabe. It's Gabe, he it wasn't late. Park. I'm trying to park over there, but a stupid app will not let me park. It's okay, we're just live, Gabe, don't we? What? We're just live on the internet, that's all. It's not actually live. Say hi <laughs> to the camera people. <laughs> hi, guys. Well, it's Gabe from Reading Reading. That's right, no, it's not right. Do you want to press stop for us, Gabe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>